What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Embroidery Hub. Now maybe you guys have noticed this already, but embroidering on a mesh side area of a trucker cap is a hot new trend right now that many apparel decorators are taking advantage of in their business. But if you've never done this type of embroidery before, do not worry because today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to do it. And just for you guys, I will be adding an easy trick to embroider both the front and the side in one run without having to rehoop your cap. For this project, I'm going to be using the MT-1501 to embroider with a regular cap hoop and I'm going to be embroidering two designs at one run while showing you the tricks to be able to apply stitches to the mesh side of a cap. And like I always do in every episode, I'll be going through each step of the process and giving you a quick breakdown of the kind of profit potential you can expect from a project like this. But before we jump right in, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest Embroidery Hub episodes. And don't forget to smash that like button. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump into the materials we're gonna be needing for this project. Now the first thing we have is our stabilizer and our topping. I'm going to be using three sheets of tearaway stabilizer because it's easier for me to rip off afterwards. You can also use a thick cutaway if you like to. Now I'm going to be using this topping for the front part of the mesh side. What this is going to do is going to make sure that your threads stay on top of your mesh instead of sinking in. Now if you guys want to learn more about topping, scroll down to the video in the description below. Now as usual, I'm going to be using my 75 by 11 size needles. These are going to be the sharp point needles and I'm using the 40 weight thread. I'm also going to be using my regular hoop that comes with our machine. Now I'm going to be embroidering on this cap which is a Richardson 112. Lastly, I have my clips and these pins. You can use a needle if you don't have one of these and it's gonna work just as fine. We're gonna use these to hold down the topping and the side of the mesh and I'm going to be using the clips to make sure that the mesh side is as flat as possible. Now for a machine, I'm going to be using the Recoma MT-1501 like I mentioned before. Now the reason why I'm using this machine is because it has a cap rotation of 270 degrees. So I'm able to do a one run, the front and the sides. Now we actually did a video on how to do this, but on the MT-1502, which is a two head. And we did both sides. We did the front, as you can see here, one side, and then we did the other side. If you want to check that video out, scroll down to the description below. In that video, we show you everything you need to know to make this happen, including digitizing. Have you guys ever done a custom embroidery on a trucker cap or any other item that has a mesh fabric? If so, tell me about your experience in the comments section below. Also, if you have any ideas for future projects, just drop them down in the comments section below. All right, so let's do the hooping. First thing, insert your hoop in your hoop station. Make sure you're locked in. This is a trick. You don't need to use the full stabilizer. You can always bring it to the side. But just to hold it in place now, I'm going to leave it here. And once I put the cap, I'm going to move it over. As always, we're going to be opening the sweatband and putting it right over the hoop. Now before I lock it in, I grab my stabilizer and I pull it towards the side that I'm going to be doing the uh, embroidery on the mesh. Now if you want to embroider on both sides of the mesh in one run, you can always use a long sheet of stabilizer going from one side to the other. Okay, so this is how it should look. You have your mesh, and under your mesh, you're going to have your stabilizer. Make sure your stabilizer doesn't move. If you guys want to check out related videos like these, check out the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into a profit potential for this project. Now, we bought these caps from wholesale at $3.50. Then we have to take into account the cost of our stabilizer and our topping. Between both of these, it's around $0.50. Cents. So that means that the overall cost of these caps is going to be around $4. Now for regular embroidery on front of the cap, it's around $20 to $25. But since we're doing the side and is the mesh area of the cap, you can add another $5. That means that you can sell each cap for around $25 to $30. Bucks, giving a profit of around $21 to $26. All depending also on the design. Okay, so let's go into our panel now. First thing I'm going to do is choose my design by choosing this option. Now I've already saved it over from my USB memory over to my machine memory. So I'm just going to choose it on my machine memory. I'm going to go to the last page, select it, and press the OK button. 
The next step is choosing our hoop. So I'm going to go over to the design setting and I'm going to choose my cap hoop. Okay, let's go ahead and put our cap in the machine. Make sure we're locked in. Now, if you guys wanna learn more about this machine, scroll down to the description below. Now we selected our cap hoop, it automatically centers the design. So all we have to do now is go over to our colors and select the colors. So I've already done this design in the past, so my machine automatically saves my color sequence. In this case, just so you guys know, before it jumps over to the side of the mesh, I'm going to make sure that it frames out so that I'm able to place the topping. Now what I have to do here is add a frame out option before my machine goes to embroider on the side of the mesh. So what I'm going to do is select the color stop before the machine goes to embroider on the side of the cap. Now I'm going to touch on this F key on the top right, which is going to add or remove the frame out option. All right, so now let me go ahead and press the OK button to save my options. And now I'm going to select my speed. I'm gonna leave it at 800. And now I'm gonna give you a tip so that this comes out as neat as possible. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move my design over to the far right where the design of the side should be on. What this is gonna do is that it's gonna give me access to the side of the cap. Now I can stretch it out and make it nice and flat. And I will obviously hold it and secure it with these clips. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and find the center of the cap. Okay, so now let's go ahead and change to needle number one. And I'm gonna be using my arrow keys together with needle number one to make sure that I'm centered on the cap. Lastly, let's lock the machine and let's trace our design. All right, so we're pretty much set and ready to go. We have our cap in the machine. We have our design ready. We have it centered. This is around 45,000 stitches. So it's gonna take us around, I would say 50 minutes. So the way that this is gonna go is going to first embroider the front of the cap. Then it's going to stop and frame out the cap so that I'm able to put the topping. And once I do so, I press the start button and it'll automatically continue on the side of the cap. All right, let's press start. guys, so now that it's done, all I did was rip off the stabilizer and the topping with my hands. is an easy and unique embroidery application method that will help you keep a competitive edge in your business. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Be sure to give this episode a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it already. Before I go, I just want to remind you that you can connect with other apparel decorators like myself by joining a free Facebook group, Embroidering Custom Apparel Mastery. 
If you want to get the latest info on the world of decorated apparel, make sure to follow us on Instagram at RacomaHQ. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Have a nice one.